Hello, my name is Atcher91, also known as Paranite on RuneScape, and I will be showing you a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to do the RuneScape puzzle boxes. And I'm lagging. Okay. Alright, now, these things can be incredibly frustrating. They can piss you off to points that you can't even imagine. They'll make you want to drop it and give up with the clue and just move on. I know, I've been there. But I improved. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will be able to rape these things too. Just like pretty much everything else in RuneScape. So, first thing I have to emphasize about solving these is... You want to know what the finished product looks like. Which I found right here. Use Google, use Tippet, use RuneScape Wiki, just use something. You, you want to know what the finished product looks like. Because if, if you don't, then... You're just going to be moving pieces around randomly, so good luck with that. <laughs> Alright, so first thing you want to do is y you're going to solve this thing row by row. Solve the top row first, then the second row, then the third row, then die once we get down here. It's, it, it gets crazy. Just right, I'll get there when I come to it. Alright, so first thing, locate the first piece that goes up in the top left corner. Alright, so in my puzzle, that's right here. So... Just focus on one piece at a time. Don't worry about the whole thing. Move that first piece where it needs to go. Up oh, right there. Got it. Alright, second piece is this one. In my puzzle... Oh, look at that. It's right here. That was easy. Third piece is this one right here. Move that up there. Fourth piece is this one right here. There we go. Alright, now the first four pieces are the easiest. The fifth one is where it gets tricky. So, that's that one right here. This is this one. Alright. So, get that one. And move it right under the spot where it needs to go. Okay. Now, sometimes what will end up happening is, after you finish the first four pieces, your cursor will be right here, and the fifth piece will be right here, all nice and ready for you to just press down and solve the solve the row. But most of the time, that's not going to happen. What ends up happening is you have to find the fifth piece and put it right here, and, you know, this row is completed except for this, and you got your cursor right here. Now, it'd be really nice if you could just move it diagonally, so it'd be right here, and then you can just press down and get that, but unfortunately you can't. So, here's how you solve this. Now, a lot of people do this weird thing with the fourth and fifth piece where they pull them out down here and do some weird crazy figure eight business. Now, I don't know how to do that. The method I use is much more simple and easy to understand. Just go all the way over to the left, pull this piece down, pull that over, pull that over, pull that over. Now, this row, they're all still adjacent next to each other. This is, this is good. Except now, you've opened up a nice little 2x2 two two area for you to work with this piece. So, come over here, pull that into position. Now put the cursor back between the fourth and fifth piece and just scoot that row back over. Damn, I'm lagging. Okay. Okay, so there you go. That's how you do that. Now, it's going to do the second row here too. Look for that piece that is right there. probably can't hear my mouse, but I'm clicking like a million times. This thing is lagging really bad. Okay. Almost there. Okay. The first two pieces just worked out. This is the third piece right here. Get that into position. Gotta move around it without actually moving it. Let's get the cursor right there. Move that down. Alright. Here's the fourth piece right here. Okay, here's the fifth piece. That needs to go right there. So, same thing. Move all the way over to the left. 
push the entire row over by one spot and now you're ready to put the fifth piece into place and just get back between the fourth and fifth and scoot that entire row back over okay a third row is exactly the same as the previous two so I'm just gonna skip this part okay so you've solved the first three rows now one thing I must emphasize and this is incredibly important once you finish the row never go back and mess with it okay it's it's gone from the puzzle it's invisible it's not there anymore you can't see it don't worry about it don't don't mess with that ever again don't mess with the completed rows of your puzzle okay that's important so after you solve the first three rows you can't just solve the fourth obviously and then the fifth because I mean if you solve the fourth the fifth row is going to be all in a bunch of jumbled up places and if you can't mess with the fourth then you're pretty much stuck so instead of solving it by row this time you're going to solve it in little columns this one first then this one then this one and then the last three pieces so instead of solving it one piece at a time now you're going to do it two pieces at a time so find these first two pieces in your puzzle and put them next to each other horizontally so okay so there's this one right here and this one right there okay so here's here's what happens these two pieces are next to each other now this one's supposed to go on top and this one's supposed to go on bottom now once you've done this there are two possible scenarios that can happen one is where the piece that's supposed to go on top is on the left and the piece that's supposed to go on bottom is on the right in the bottom row in the fifth row or if you've done it the other way and had them in the top row like this if this is how they ended up when you got them next to each other then then yeah this this is scenario one this is easy because all you have to do is put the cursor to the left and like slide them all over next to each other and then go around go around slide them over again go around go around and keep sliding them and eventually they'll just fall into place the top ones on top and the bottom ones on bottom as they're supposed to be all right so that's the easy thing I'll, I'll get to the second thing if it happens here so find these two pieces now this foot and this club part right here so okay so this is this is scenario number two this is the other thing that can happen now obviously if you just try to do that sliding thing and slide them into place it's not gonna work because they're gonna be upside down instead what you have to do to flip them over okay here's what you do they're next to each other move one over so they're, they're separated by one space and you got the cursor in between now if they're in the bottom row then this is my directions will be from the bottom row um, if they're in the top row then you're gonna have to upside down and eyes all the directions that I'm about to say but you can still do it so here's what we do get them separated by the cursor and then go up right move this one up go back over here go on top of the other piece and move that up and then put the cursor back in the middle and join them together again and now you've created a scenario one situation all nice and easy for you to slide them into position okay now just do the same thing for this little row right here um, okay so this piece is supposed to go on bottom this piece is supposed to go on top but of course they're in the opposite order so here's what you do go around put the cursor between them go up right move this one up get on top of the other one move that one up too put the cursor back between them move this one next to it and now you've created a scenario one situation nice and easy for you to slide them into place okay now once you've got this far the last three pieces all you have to do is move the cursor to the end position and the last three pieces will be magically solved I don't know how this works with sliding puzzles it just works if you solve the entire rest of the puzzle correctly and you're down to these last three pieces all you have to do is move the cursor to the end position and they will be solved I don't know it just works out it's magical if it doesn't work out this way then you have a glitched puzzle 
Uh, Jagex tries not to give you unsolvable puzzles, but sometimes it can happen, and it's very rare. I, I, actually, I actually did not used to think it was possible, but I heard of somebody getting a uh, an impossible puzzle where just, like, one piece was in the wrong place, and they couldn't do it, and they just had to drop the puzzle and restart it, and then it was solvable. So just, yeah, just, if you got an impossible puzzle where one piece is out of place and it won't go, then, like, don't pull your hair out over it, it's not your fault, just reset the puzzle and start over. You can do that by saying destroy puzzle and uh, the guy will give you a new one or you can log out and log back in and your puzzle will be reset. So I hope this guide was helpful to you. Um, good luck with your puzzles and happy scaping!